Post she puts back now. Okay, my friends, it was a long time ago. I shot last time a video, a clip on the movie of cooking, making nice food night dishes. Today we make a traditional post dish. We call it uh, Schabove with uh, the bone or of the bone. It's gonna be without the bone. It's a pork tenderloin, uh, you know, cut into uh, cutlets, marinated, uh, paneered with uh, Basically, you could go with a beaten egg and breadcrumbs, but sometimes you just go with flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs. We're gonna make our own breadcrumbs. Egg I bought from a very nice place. A little bit more expensive though, but um, you know the source is uh, very nice. And this is like uh, free range, uh, you know, natural and bio and everything, all that. One egg for 120. 120 it's nothing because in Venezia and Italy you pay one euro for one egg if that's good and of course then we have potato with the deal and sour sour cabbage sauerkraut fried on the pan together with bacon and onion let's do it and potatoes we're gonna fry not on the oil not on butter but uh, on the pork lard and it's gonna be amazing big time I got some bacon with the oil and here we got sour cabbage, it's easy to make, you just buy cabbage, you shred it, you salt it, you put it in the jar and you wait and you just get this one, it's beautiful. Then I chop some one onion, one middle sized onion, it's gonna be nice. Now when the bacon is a little bit done, I add onion to it, fry a little bit and then I add this cabbage, sour cabbage. We did some little bit of the uh, uh, rearrangement in the house now, and it's beautiful. We uh, painted white, we painted it black. It uh, you know the kitchen is uh, is gonna be renovated as well a little bit also. Now we got a uh, fry onion and bacon now. I just chopped roughly my sour cabbage. I have uh, and also please keep the juice. It's important to have this little acid, sour feeling of the taste now. Okay, we gotta, uh, we gotta uh, uh, just fry it for a little while. We can just salt and pepper, and then we add some, uh, yeah, it should be enough salt, pepper, maybe with sweet paprika, maybe cayenne pepper or something. Then we go with tomato paste and a little bit of water just to make it nice. Some go without water, just fry it for a long time, make it dry and make it on a cabbage. But I do it another way now, which is great. Uh, I put some tomato paste, some uh, bay leaves, some other herbs. Just uh, pour a little of the water and then I'm going to cover it and just go for, uh, just uh, lower the heat and just go for a while now. The cabbage is working fine under the cover now and this is pork. Uh, tenderloin, I just cut it into half, just bang it with the old good Soviet hammer bought back in the nights from Soviet people being here in Poland. Now in my city we don't have Soviet soldiers, we have American soldiers. Alright, it's nice. This is salt, pepper and sweet paprika. I just go on both sides. Well, I put this one on the other, on this one on the other and then I go using my hand. Alright, I did some prep work first, of course, plain flour, then we have two beaten eggs, breadcrumbs, my own, I made them here in the thermo mix, then we had a kotletsky four, then we have uh, chicken, or it's not chicken, it's like bouillon rosso, we call it rosso with everything, the duck, goose, chicken, beef, ginger, garlic, you know, burn, onion and everything, Polish soup. And we got a uh, potato and of course our fried sour cabbage. Okay, first soup. And I'm gonna go uh, with that. Uh, it's gonna be delicious. Potato working on that. Uh, I'm maybe gonna just move it to the little smaller heat, man. And here I'm gonna put uh, the pan, fry up. Heat up the lard and then start frying the cutlettos. Big time. Potatoes are going fine.
the larder is just melting right now. I just uh, turned down the heat a little bit and now I'm gonna go uh, cut lettuce, flour, egg and breadcrumbs and here, just go in. One side is working fine, it's working beautiful. Here it is. I'm gonna like uh, turn over, flip it a little bit. Pork, tenderloin, pork, let's do it without the bonus. I just flip it once and it looks beautiful, man. 